Hi, good to see you, I'm Max, and in this video we will see how Cardano relates to Ethereum 2.0 and Polkadot. Now, let's actually start by looking into what Ethereum 2.0 looks like, and we will then move on to Polkadot and finish with the best Cardano. So, Ethereum 2.0 is made of shards, right? And, and a shard is basically a very technical term for a sub-blockchain. So you, you have to see Ethereum as uh, a blockchain made of blockchains. That's just how simple it is. And kind of like a tree, essentially. Um, I will come to the, the tree part later. Um, and what's, what's very important to, to note is that these sub-blockchains all need to have the same interface. What I mean by that is that they all need to have the same way of executing smart contracts. That's very important. Um, and all these shards, so all these sub-blockchains, communicate with the main sub-blockchain, which is the beacon chain. Um, and so you, you kind of have, have to see it as you know a tree or... Uh, as a uh, as a set of, of buckets, right? And you place all these buckets, and then you have one bucket in the middle, which is the beacon chain, and then all these other buckets or containers communicate with the beacon chain, um, with, with the main bucket in the, in the middle. That's that's basically how Ethereum 2.0 looks like, um, and so they they, they they will also use side chains to interact with other types of networks uh, for example bitcoin which isn't proof of stake well uh, they will use side chains to be able to interact with that so not shards and there's no on-chain uh, governance plan at the moment so they want to continue uh, doing it off chain through you know discussions on github and, and all that um and finally the chain is account based. Uh, what that means is that you know you have one wallet with the, the private key and public key, which represents your accounts in a certain way, uh, kind of like a bank. That's it, a bank. Uh, th that's the way you have to see uh, an account based system. It's like a bank account, and you can send and receive money, and your bank account will still be there. Um, now, if we need to move on, uh, let, let's move on to, to, to Polkadot. So. Polkadot is made of parachains, which essentially is a very uh, um, marketing-ish term uh, for essentially shards. It's 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 ex nearly the exact same thing actually. It's just that the Polkadot guys are very good at marketing, while <laughs> the Ethereum developers haven't put much in effort into it. Um, but so parachains are essentially shards. So it's the same structure. Uh, more or less, of course, there are some differences, but more or less, it's the same structure as Ethereum 2.0. However, you can have a different execution interface. So unlike Ethereum 2.0, where all the shards have the same way of executing, or actually need to have the same way of executing smart contracts, in Polkadot, you can have different ways of executing smart contracts. So there is more flexibility, if I may say it like that. Um, like with Ethereum, um, the all of the power chains uh, communicate with one main chain, uh, which is called the uh, relay chain. Um, there are, however, no side chains, so they have some sort of uh, bridge chains, which they call bridge power chains, which essentially offer um, two-way uh, compatibility. So, you know, uh, if you were to create a power chain between Polkadot and Bitcoin, you could be able to send. Um, uh, some type of uh, wrapped Bitcoin from Polkadot to the Bitcoin chain, and then Bitcoin from the Bitcoin chain to Polkadot. So it's a, a two-way bridge, essentially. There is a lot of on-chain governance. It's one of their major focuses, right? They have, they have a system with a council, with um, with voting and on-chain proposals. So that's very, that's one of the major focuses of uh, Polkadot as projects. And it's also account-based. So, like Ethereum, they use this bank account system, essentially. Now, if you look to Car uh, into Cardano, uh, Cardano is quite different, actually. Um, so, Cardano is made of Cardano SL and Cardano CL. So, Cardano SL is the uh, uh, settlement layer. 
uh, that's where your ADA lies right now, essentially. That's the settlement layer. So you can compare uh, Cardano SL to, for example, Bitcoin, right? It's a highly secure chain where, which is specifically made to make uh, simply just transactions and uh, storing your assets on. It's nothing more. Um, you don't do any smart contract stuff uh, uh, on, on there. That, that's, that's for the Cardano CL, which is the Cardano computational layer, which is essentially a side chain of the settlement layer. Um, and the way you have to look at it is that uh, that way, it's if something bad happens with the computational layer, all the funds are st most actually of the funds are still safe because most of the funds will always lie in the um, always remain in the uh, settlement layer uh, unless you are doing some act active computation, which means they will then be on the computational layer. Um, side chains can be centralized, so you, you can create a side chain essentially, and you can have your own way of doing things with that side chain. So what I mean with that, and that's, that's something which is very interesting, what I mean with that is that you can have, um, so, so, you know, the settlement layer is obviously fully decentralized with stake pools, and as a side chain, if you are a bank, for example, you can create a centralized side chain on which you will be able to transact ADA and without any problems. That's kind of crazy, right? Because you are essentially merging centralization with decentralization and you are able to move an asset which is decentralized on a, ch on a chain which is centralized uh, safely. Because if the bank now decides, okay, we have, uh, l let's say the, the, the bank side chain, which is centralized, has 500 ADA, which was sent from the settlement layer, which is decentralized, to the centralized side chain. So they have 500 ADA. And they now decide, well, as we're, as we're centralized, let's duplicate that ADA and then send them back to the settlement layer. That will not work. They will only be able to, uh, to send back 500 ADA because um, the main chain is essentially firewall protected. Uh, essentially, the, the, it's, there's kind of like a, a barrier filter which makes sure that ADA or, or anything actually which goes from the main chain to the uh, to side chain is, is safe. And so you, you can't essentially duplicate ADA on a centralized chain to then send it back on the decentralized chain. That's not possible. Which makes it very interesting because it makes Cardano perfectly suitable for, for example, um, enterprise use cases. Um, additionally, the sidechain also has sharding capabilities. So uh, like Ethereum 2.0 or like uh, Polkadot, if there is a need for it, Cardano could, um, it, it would be possible to create sidechains in order to offload the activity on, on the main chain and in order to, uh, to, to scale essentially Cardano. Um, there's also uh, there will also be a lot of on-chain governance, you know, with Voltaire, uh, with voting, with on-chain proposals, um, and all that kind of stuff. There are right now also, obviously, uh, as you may know, uh, experiments happening with uh, Project Catalysts. And finally, um, Cardano is UTXO based. So um, Bitcoin, for example, is also UTXO based. So w what UTXO means is that you don't have an account essentially. And it's like if you were to, to hold cash. So instead of having a wallet, uh, like you would have on Ethereum or Pol Polkadot, you will essentially have uh, a block of transactions. It, it, it's a quite a different system, but without going to technical in it, what's, what's important is that this leads to Cardano being able to do certain things which Ethereum and Polkadot can't do. And obviously, Ethereum and Polkadot can do certain things, which Cardano can do, of course. But the main thing here is that Cardano is able to do things uh, uniquely, which most other smart contract chains uh, can't do, mainly because most smart contract blockchains are based on an account model, as they are um, largely inspired uh, from Ethereum. So to recap, what you have to remember from this video is that these three projects are essentially 
um, trying to do the same thing, which is essentially becoming a network of a network, a network of networks. So, you know, uh, Ethereum, they have their uh, shards, and, and so you have Ethereum with a network, and then all these shards, which are essentially networks. And so Ethereum is kind of like a network of networks. Um, uh, Polkadot has their parent chains, and so Polkadot is, again, a network of parent chains, parent chain, which is also a network, so it's a network of networks. And then you have Cardano, which is um, uh, you have this main chain, and then with, with all the side chains linked, so again, it's it's a network of networks. So these three projects are doing basically the exact same thing, but completely differently, right? When when, when Ethereum is, is is for example not putting a lot of effort into governance or on chain governance, on chain governance, Polkadot and Cardano focus a lot on that. Um, when uh, Ethereum and Polkadot are focused on, uh, are using account-based models. Uh, Cardano is using UTXO-based models. Uh, when, I don't know, uh, when um, Ethereum allows only one uh, interface, Polkadot, and I think Cardano too actually, allow different uh, interface executions. Um, so there are major differences between these two, uh, these three projects, while at the end of the day, they are kind of doing the exact same thing. So it's really interesting. And I think it will be especially um, interesting to see once, for example, Cardano has Voltaire or once Ethereum 2.0 is, is, uh, is entirely there because Ethereum 2.0 will be released in different uh, periods of time. Um, once these projects are all successfully launched, fully launched, um, it will be interesting to see how they compare essentially and what all that work resulted in at, at the end of the day. Um, so, if you like this video, uh, please do share uh, it with all your friends, neighbors, family, lovers, uh, your dog. Uh, <laughs> please do like it, follow, comment, and uh, please don't hesitate to um, uh, visit our website, poapool.com, and follow us on Twitter at poapool. Bye!